Hi, I'm Joe. This is James. And this is our one big thing for week one. One big thing. And James, let's start with an update on series running back Johnny Smith-Willis. Yeah, we were at the uh, Modesto Quarterback Club meeting today. And uh, it's, it's an opportunity for all the coaches to share what's been going on. And um, as you know, we had a reporter, Jimmy Silva, out at the game, Modesto's game versus series on Friday night. And there was a nasty collision uh, involving series running back Johnny Smith-Willis. And uh, he uh, left the game with a concussion or concussion symptoms. And we found out today from Donnie Wallace, who called over to the school this morning, that, uh, that Johnny's doing fine. Johnny's doing fine. Good uh, he may ultimately miss a week. He may ultimately sit mm -hmm. out this week as a, as a precaution, but uh, all reports are that he's doing good. And, of course, uh, Ceres was playing Modesto High, a Modesto City Schools team, and all Modesto City Schools team use the Riddell Insight Impact Response System. Tell us a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, so all the coaches reported uh, today at the QB club meeting that uh, they, they had alerts. You know, some had two, three, some had three, four, five, but there were nothing nothing major. And all of them, to, uh, to a man, uh, seemed appreciative that they had this kind of technology at their disposal. And basically what it is is anytime there's movement, these sensors are working. Anytime the helmet is, is literally taken out of the locker, they're uh, activated. They're activated. And so the coaches can monitor uh, impact and collision and take that information and one, either assess an injury or two, correct technique. So the coaches use a, they have a, a monitor, it's about iPhone sized, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then any time uh, the sensor picks up what it feels is a devastating hit, it alerts the coach and the coach assesses. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I, I've, seen, I've seen it at work, I've seen it in play out at the, uh, the Byron High practice. They, the coaching staff actually monitored a kid's um, tackling form, you know, they, right. there, were, there were three tackles that the kid apparently was leading with his head a little too much, and they were able to correct it on the spot, which was, you know, you, you rewind the tape five, even five years ago, they just, they didn't have that kind of technology, right. they didn't have that capability. You know, what's kind of ironic, I thought, was that um, Grigori used this technology last year, mm -hmm. and it was because of a, uh, a proposal written by Grigori student Dominic Berendica. Yeah. He got the original grant for these helmets. Gregor used them last year. Well, Berendika last week had 18 tackles. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so the kid, the kid who is totally concerned about the safety of his uh, his classmates and, and, and fellow students in Modesto. Throws caution to the wind on Friday night. <laughs> Throws caution to the wind on Friday night.